Hello and welcome to Spa Francorchamps for the second round of the 2016 International GT Open. After a thrilling opening weekend in Estoril, the championship is wide open, but of course, Spa is a very different proposition. High speed corners and long straights. We should have some great action to look forward to. Spa Francorchamps is always one of the favourite stops of the International GT Open season. This weekend was no exception. Teo Martin Motorsport, BMW, Fernando Monier leading the way as Marco Ciocci and Duncan Tappi made contact at La Source, resulting in a puncture for Tappi. His Garage 59 teammate Alexander West spun in avoidance. Disaster then struck for Monier, a huge accident in the BMW from which he was very fortunate to emerge unscathed. That gave us a very lengthy safety car period and therefore turned the tactics of the race somewhat onto their head. It worked out in favour of Colonel Ledegar in the garage of Guy McLaren and also Roldan Rodriguez in the sister to Air Martin Motorsport BMW. Rodriguez able to power past Sean Balfe to claim the lead of the race and thereafter the BMW was never headed. Meanwhile also going very well were the pairing of Josh Webster and Nicky Pastrelli in the Renault RS01. Australia in particular really wringing the neck for Renault as he and Webster were able to take the podium which at the start of the day had seemed somewhat unlikely. Ledegaard then making a brave move on the Balfe Motorsport Ferrari late on to give he and Alexander West their first podium of the season. Reigning champion Miguel Ramos scoring his first win of the year alongside Roldan Rodriguez Superb victory for the BMW pairing on the Teo Martin Motorsport entry. Then it was Webster and Pastrelli in Ledegar and West completing the podium. So a bittersweet day for Teo Martin Motorsport, one that ended on a high note. I'm very, very happy, uh, really. It's, uh, it was very hard for us in Israel. Uh, the drivability of the car was not there, but in this circuit I think we found the solution, so we're really happy. Yeah, you are happy, but I think uh, Roldan is uh, even happier because it's a long time he hasn't been in this position. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy man. I want to, th to say thanks to, to Teo Martin, to the team, to all the mechanics. The job that they do are, is amazing. The only thing I did was to drive the car I had, and the car was fast because of the team. So I'm super happy. As you said, it's a long time without being in the podium. Actually, I think the last time was here in GP2, so I'm super happy. I want to celebrate it. If we had glorious sunshine on Saturday, the same could not be said for Sunday. After a long pause behind the safety car, we eventually got underway. Colonel Ledegar leading the way in the Garage 59 McLaren clear of Roldan Rodriguez and then a hard charging Ewan Hankey. The Orange 1 Team Lazarus Lamborghini was a force to be reckoned with all weekend. Sprecio Cristani and Thomas Biaggi were pushing very hard. Despite the inclement conditions we were treated to some absolutely fantastic racing. With the safety car period taking us right up to the pit window it meant that the order changed dramatically particularly as Marco Ciocci got behind the wheel the air of course Ferrari. Duncan Tappy was the other driver on the move, scything through the field and taken over from Michael Benham in the Garage 59 McLaren. However, it was the Renault RSO1, the V8 racing car of Josh Webster and Nicky Pastrelli, which was the one to watch Webster. Pastrelli in fine, fine form. Webster driving the anchor leg. Meanwhile, this one of the highlights of the season, three wide through the source. They all made it through cleanly. So it was a victory in very trying conditions for Josh Webster and Nicky Pastrelli in the Renault. A great performance from a pairing that only came together at the last minute ahead of the weekend. Superb second place for Duncan Tapia and Michael Benham helping their championship charge with Alex Moisev. Marco Ciocci completing the rostrum. A huge smile from Joss Webster as he and Pastrelli took the top step of the podium. Tappy and Benham, another very, very strong Sunday result. Just four races into the season and looking ahead to Paul Ricard, it's Sean Balfe and Phil Keane 
who lead the standings with Benham and Tappy climbing up into second place and Pastorelli and Webster up to third on the strength of their weekend. Cristani and Biaggi in a very close fourth. It couldn't be better, perfect result. It was already good yesterday, even better today. A bit unexpected because it was very difficult conditions in the beginning. Uh, but you know, that's for everybody. So uh, my stint was actually quite short, it was mainly a safety car. Then Jos uh, stepped in and uh, he finished it perfectly by uh, being really fast, making no mistakes. So great for everybody, thanks. Joshua, how was the second stint? Yeah, it's tricky. Um, first time I've driven Spa in the wet and uh, second time in the car this weekend. So um, massive thanks to GP Extreme V8 and, and Nikki here for calling me on, on Friday afternoon to, to come here. So dream result, dream result. Second was awesome yesterday, but um, to have won today is, is the icing on the cake. So uh, ecstatic with the win.